Hey folks, and welcome back. Uh, we've been working on a few projects here in the van and we just finished uh, a project up that we wanted to complete a long time ago. Um, the newer model Sprinter vans have an issue with the premium sound system uh, in which the sound system is overdriving the center speaker here in the, in the dashboard and the sound quality is, is very poor. Um, we ended up doing a short-term solution when we bought the van and that was simply just to disconnect that speaker uh, and use the other speakers in the cab uh, to listen to music. Um, we did some research and we found that several uh, folks were using a, a, a passive component in between the stereo and the front speaker. Uh, it's called an attenuator. It's uh, an expensive component, like 20 bucks off of Amazon, uh, and it's very simple to install. It is somewhat of a larger component, so finding a location here on the dashboard to install it uh, was, uh, was a little difficult. We noticed that some folks uh, install it here on the toggle switches. Um, we actually ended up finding a really cool spot uh, in the cubby hole up on the dashboard behind the cup holder that worked perfect. It was close to the front speaker, so uh, doing the new wiring uh, was, was pretty straightforward. Uh, and uh, now that it's done, the sound quality is much, much better. We're really happy about it. So follow us along as we uh, finish up this project. There are several dashboard components that need to be removed in order to wire the attenuator to the center speaker. Various plastic trim removal tools can be used along with a Torx T20 screwdriver. All of the dashboard components have sturdy plastic tabs that clip into the dash and a considerable upward force is needed in order to release them. Remove the center speaker cover with the plastic trim tool. Pull the speaker straight up and disconnect the black and white connectors. There are two separate resistive coils in this speaker and one common diaphragm. One coil is for the MBUX audio system, the black connector positioned toward the front of the vehicle, and the other one is for the onboard communication system including the SOS messaging functionality. This would be the white connector positioned toward the rear of the vehicle. In order to wire the new attenuator circuit, Cut the purple and gray wires approximately two inches from the end of the black audio connector. The new wiring circuit is simple and straightforward. The three pins on the attenuator are clearly marked and the purple and gray wires are easy to access with the center cubby being removed. We used 18 gauge stranded wire to extend the length of the circuit we crimped permanent connectors on the speaker side and removable connectors near the attenuator so it could easily be disconnected if the driver's side cubby needed to be removed in the future. We tested the functionality of the attenuator prior to fishing the wires behind the center storage cubby and it sounds fantastic. There is a considerable amount of free space underneath and behind the cup holder on the driver's side storage cubby. We drilled a small hole through the plastic sidewall and installed the attenuator with the hardware that was included with the product. The length of the attenuator post is adjustable and the knob was positioned appropriately within the cubby. With very little downward force, it was much easier to snap the dashboard components back into position than it was to remove them. Being extremely careful, the T20 screws were reinstalled without dropping them down the air vents and voila, we are ready to pump up those jams. The Mercedes Premium Inbox Audio Systems have been shipping in a variety of Sprinter vans since mid-2018. On July 19, 2022, several years after the initial production, Mercedes released an official technical bulletin identifying that the center speaker wiring harnesses in these vehicles was manufactured incorrectly. From a personal experience, there is no corporate initiative or automated notification process resulting in this repair being completed on effective vehicles. If you want to have it fixed, you need to initiate that request with the Mercedes Service Center or simply fix it yourself. We installed the attenuator workaround prior to knowing about the official fix from Mercedes and are quite pleased because the combination of the two changes enhances the center speaker control and performance. 
The official Mercedes fix is simple to complete. The four wires connected to the center speaker need to be swapped so that the audio output, in our case, the purple and gray wires, are connected to the rear-facing white connector and the onboard communication systems, in our case the green and gray wires, are connected to the front-facing black connector. The wires are easily removed and swapped from the connectors by opening the small hinged door on the front of the connector and using an angled pick to push the pins back, downward, and out. We are super excited to finally have the audio system performing like it should. If you have any questions, please drop a comment down below and thanks so much for watching. Happy trails.